So when we created this flow, that is the second flow over here, it is coming out of the box with some boilerplate code. Suppose if you see, we are having the header footer and it is having some section where we can, where it is asking to drop the component. And also if we look at the first page, which gets created when we create a web app, it is also having the similar thing. Now you might ask how this is possible. We have not added anything like the images. We didn't define anything to show the main header footer then how it is coming in this page when we create every tab. So the answer is this shell page. If you look at this root pages, there is this shell page. So this is the master of all the pages. Here we define what should be the header, what should be the footer and which portion of the page we should allow user to modify in this application. So this shell page will decide what will be constant across the application and what will be variable. In short, this visual builder makes use of Oracle Jet Runtime Engine that is the JavaScript extension toolkit that is the framework developed by Oracle. Now VB that is the visual builder at runtime is using the OJet. So almost all the thing what you see over here in the screen is converted to the OJet code when we run this application on the browser. And then the visual builder application making use of OJet framework to show the application to the user on any browser of their choice, be it a Google Chrome, Edge browser, Mozilla, Firefox, you name it, any. Now in short, shell page, if you see over here, so this OJet framework runs on the single page framework, that is the index.html. Suppose if you see over here under the source view, you will see this index.html. So whatever we see in the shell page the code for which will be available over here in the index.html so similar thing if you want to see in the graphical way we can just click on this shell page it will show the same so this index.html is the single page using which our visual builder application will show the content on the browser now what is happening is the shell page as i told it is you making use of ojet single page concept in order to show the application where we will have the header footer if you want to remove the footer, you can just remove this footer section from the shell and you can design or rework on this header footer section accordingly as per your business requirement. Now, if you see the middle portion of this flow and the pages, what I have named over here, it is the customizable section in the index.html. Suppose if you see this shell page, here header is constant, footer is constant. The area will be replaced by the flow content. Do not drop components are here means when we create any web page or the flow over here, then what this shell page is instructing is these pages what we create within the flow will be overwriting this index.html page with the contents or the components what they will drop over here at the page level. So in short, only index.html will be loaded on the browser. So every time we navigate between the pages or the flows, just this section of page that is in the index.html will change. So every time we navigate from one page to another, there is a notion created for the user that we are actually navigating from one page to another page. But in actual, OJet will just replace this section that is with the content of one page with the another. Rest of the things will be same like header and the footer. So this is the architecture how Visual Builder makes use of in order to display the web pages on the browser. So this is how the shell page will be useful in your application that is to design a common template which will be used across the pages. Suppose if you want to create the action chain variable types in order to control the behavior of this shell page then you can define them over here as well. So in our next classes we will go ahead and consume few of the components in visual builder and start learning the visual builder web page development from scratch.